Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I am demonstrating my Austrian inspired apple strudel recipe and this is how it looks like. It is a puff pastry filled with cooked apples, very very delicious and really easy to make. So to start, you will need a food processor if you have one. I really love mine. It's like I use it for all my baking and it's just great. But if you don't have one, you can do exactly the same thing I'm going to do today in a big bowl with the mixer, I mean a hand mixer if you have one. If you don't, just use a fork and it's just as good. So anyways, starting off with some all-purpose flour and a little bit of salt and really cold, I mean very cold butter that I have cut into cubes. Your butter has to be really cold and then cream cheese that is like my secret ingredient and also you will need plastic wrap so we are just going to begin by just mixing these three together and yeah and the reason why I am using the cream cheese is that if you've ever made puff pastry before you will notice that it's not an easy dough to work with but with the cream cheese, somehow it makes the dough really, really easy to handle. And yeah, I really like this idea. So if you are making puff pastry for the first time, I will recommend you do you use this recipe just to master it. And then in the future, you can move to the normal puff pastry. So anyways, let's just mix everything in. And now what I'm going to do is just pause it a few times until a ball of dough begins to form. And if you are doing this using a fork, just cut your butter in and then mix in the cream cheese until you also get like, it's almost in the form of a ball of dough. So. When it's done, just get your wrapping paper, I mean, sorry, your wrapping, your plastic wrap, cannot even talk, excuse me, and then just transfer the dough onto the wrap. And I normally do this if I want to make apple strudel tomorrow, for example, I will make my dough tonight or today and keep it in the fridge. And then the next day I just have it already and less work to do. You can also freeze this for a few months. So yeah, that's another option. So wrap this up very tight, roll it and form like a ball shape with it and put it in your fridge while we prepare the next step. So for the next, we are going to do our filling. And here I have three apples, Granny Smith and one gala. I have brown sugar and some butter. The apple I have washed and peeled them and now I'm going to core and remove the seeds and cut them into bite sizes. I must apologize. I said it I said this in my previous video. I have a little boy that whenever I film a video, he is all over the place and pushing the camera. So I had to set my camera up somewhere on my kitchen counter and I didn't realize until I was editing the movie that every time I chopped it was shaking so sorry for that here we have cut all the apples and if you are not doing this immediately just sprinkle some um, lemon juice on it to prevent the apples from turning brown but since I was going to use it at that moment I didn't have to do that step so I am going to just start with a pot and some butter in it on a medium heat, toss in the apples and then add the brown sugar to it and a little bit of 
cinnamon to it. There is nothing like an apple strudel without cinnamon. But if you don't like the taste or the flavor of cinnamon, you can leave that out. We are just going to stir this in now and cook it between 10 to 15 minutes. And that should be enough. If you want a really, really soft apple, you can cook it maybe 20 minutes, but then your apples will get so mushy. You need a little bit of texture in it. So between 10 to 15 minutes is fine. And I, I normally cover this to help the steam make it cook a bit faster. So I'm going to cover it now and cook it. When it's time to check and you notice that maybe you have too much liquid in there, just putting like a teaspoon of flour to thicken it up. Mine was drying out nicely, so I just added a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor of the apple and gave it a stir and it's done. Take it off the heat, let it sit and cool completely while we roll our pastry. So now we are going to roll our dough. We just took it out of the fridge and yeah, you will need a rolling pin, some all purpose flour to dust your surface, some butter at room temperature, one egg that I will use for the egg wash, and this is the apple that we just made. And you can double the, the recipe, I mean double the amount of apple if you want more filling in your pastry. So I'm just going to add water eggs to form the egg wash and just beat this until it gets foamy. After beating it for a few minutes, I'm just going to dust the surface with some flour. But first of all, make sure that it's clean and dry. And we'll take off our plastic wrap and then just start rolling the dough. Dust the top of the dough with some flour and then start rolling into whatever kind of shape you want. But it should be kind of, it should be fairly thin, about half an inch. So yeah, that's what we are doing here. And move the dough around, shift it, pick it up so it doesn't stick to the surface. So you roll, you move it, you roll just like I'm doing until you get half an inch thickness. And you can see what I was talking about the the cheese makes the dough really easy to work with like your normal puff pastry dough it will be having cracks in it and you will have to put it in the fridge and then take it out again and then get it back in when it's getting too warm so yeah that's why I like this recipe especially great for beginners Now that it's all rolled up, I'm just going to trim the edges a little. Brush some butter here. And brushing the butter gives it extra flakiness and also some extra flavor. And we are going to put our apple filling on top of it and spread it on evenly. After spreading, we are just going to run along the sides with some of the egg wash to add like a glue so it sticks when we roll it together. Now start rolling. Oh 
fold it on top, roll, and then when you get to the end there, just use the fork and press it down to seal it, adding a little bit of pressure. And then we will transfer this onto a baking sheet with, which is lined with parchment paper. Put some egg wash on the sides there, fold it in, or if you prefer, you can just use the fork again to press to seal, but I prefer folding it in. I'm sorry for the background noise. My son is just, when I'm filming, he's all over the place. Please forgive me. Now we are going to brush. We are going to brush the top with some more egg wash, and this will help, this will help the, apple strudel to get a nice golden brown color use a sharp knife and cut some splits on top to help the steam to come out while it's baking in the oven so it doesn't bust open and here i'm going to sprinkle the top with a little bit of brown sugar you don't have to do this but i like it so yeah we are done we're going to put this in the oven and bake it between 30 to 40 minutes and when it's golden brown, you know it is done. Sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on top. Enjoy this with some warm milk, an ice cream, with coffee, with tea. It is just an easy and a great dessert. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.